Well, let's take a look now at the political fallout from the president's move. Here is senior White House correspondent Major Garrett. President Obama walked into a firestorm of criticism. Republicans hurled adjectives like appeasement and betrayal, alleging the president had buckled under Russian pressure and sent a signal of weakness to Iran. The president preemptively denied both charges. We've also repeatedly made clear to Russia that its concerns about our previous missile defense programs were entirely unfounded. Our clear and consistent focus has been the threat posed by Iran's ballistic missile program, and that continues to be our focus. The White House specifically denied any deals with Russia. This is not about Russia. This is about protecting our homeland. It's about protecting uh, the troops that we have deployed overseas that protect our freedom. Uh, and it was about ensuring the defense uh, of our allies, uh, our European and NATO allies. And yet U.S. missile defense plans have dominated Mr. Obama's meetings with Russian President Dmitry Medvedev and Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. It's inevitable that this will be seen, uh, no matter how people uh, try to slice it, uh, in, in the context of the enormous uh, fuss that Russia has put up about missile defense since the uh, Bush administration made the announcement in January 2007. Top White House officials don't deny their hope that Russia may now come around and endorse some variety of sanctions against Iran's apparent pursuit of nuclear weapons. I think the Russians are going to get a chance to decide how constructive they want to be on Iran uh, in the next few weeks. During the campaign, Mr. Obama told Fox's Bill O'Reilly this about missile defense in Poland and the Czech Republic. You're elected president, you're keeping the missile shield in Poland. I believe that the missile shield is appropriate. I want to make sure it works, though. I want to make sure it works. The president decided to shift to a medium-range missile defense posture Sunday after reviewing the unanimous recommendations from top national security advisors. Republicans blasted the move. History teaches that weakness and appeasement invite aggression. The preeminent responsibility of the President of the United States is to protect the national security of the United States. And I believe President Barack Obama's actions today fundamentally betray that responsibility. Vice President Biden also weighed in on this in an interview with CNN in Baghdad where he said, I think we are fully capable and secure dealing with any present or future potential Iranian threat. Some Republicans interpreted that as taking a very soft line and suggesting that this shift away from a ground-based to a sea-based missile defense system in Europe may in fact invite more Iranian aggression or signal to them U.S. weakness. The White House denies such a charge. Brett? Major Garrett, live on the North Lawn. Major.